So we'll start from top to bottom, and of course you need Freddy's hat to go with the costume, so I just ordered on Amazon. So it's just a simple fedora hat, brown. Don't have to do too much to it. You can weather it maybe a little bit. The next thing you need, a Freddy mask. There's a lot of Freddy masks online. It definitely took a while to narrow it down how much money I wanted to spend on a mask, but so I went with a rubber mask right here, and it's it's got a slit in the back so you can slide it over your face. It has a little slit on the mouth, but when I'm moving my mouth, it's not really gonna move with that. So it does sit kind of back here. I might do uh, some Velcro just so I can pull this tighter, just so it's tighter around the eyes. And then of course, you know, you can tuck this in here. So with the Freddy mask right here, I did modify it slightly. I ended up taking the back here and putting a strip of Velcro on the outside and then on this flap, it's on the inside right there. So when I put it on my head, I can pull it taut. This way it sits closer up against my eyes and everything and it just looks a lot nicer. For a cheap mask, it makes it look pretty convincing. People really are like, where'd you get that mask? Fortunately, I looked for the link that I used to get this mask and it's no longer there. So I can't even leave a link in the description for you guys to get it. But I did pay about $20 for it. And uh, I think I lucked out pretty good. And then I picked up a sweater online as well. Just a plain sweater that is brown because you can see on the figure here, he has some brown stripes and then orange stripes as well. And we need to add the stripes on it he has kind of these orange stripes going on. Now here's our reference Freddy right there. So you can see it's actually only uh, one big stripe across the top and then one on the bottom and one kind of on the elbows of the sleeve there. So not as many stripes as the original one. So what I ended up picking up was someone suggested this tulip color shot. It's kind of like a spray paint. Uh, this is neon orange. So I think it kind of matches the, the bright color right there. I got two cans. I don't know how much the fabric's gonna absorb this. So I got two just in case. So we're gonna try this. We're gonna mask it off with some masking tape. I got some green masking tape and also we're going to be putting some cardboard inside the um, sweater itself so it doesn't bleed through the other side and kind of stick together. So we'll see how it turns out. <laughs> Okay, so I got it all taped off with the areas that I want to stay brown and I got some cardboard underneath. I did the back as well, but I'll probably just spray the front, let it dry and flip it, but to protect the area before we do this because the paint will probably get everywhere. The table. I just need something for the, the arms. I'm thinking maybe I'll just slice this down. So again, for a little reference, there's Freddy right there. So we'll be doing this orange, this piece down here as well, and then a little bit on the elbow area. it a few days to fully dry up here so we can remove the tape and see how we did. <laughs> Boom. There it is right there. Freddy right there. Not too bad. The brown I think on the action figure is a little bit lighter, but maybe we could do a quick quick uh, test on there. We'll throw this on with the, the mask and hat, see how it looks. 
Well, we do have the glove still that we have to paint for whatever reason. It's all skin color. It matches his hands right there. Glove, knives, and everything. So we'll be painting this even though it's normally, you know, brown and all that. So we'll end up getting some acrylic paint. This is a super basic glove right here. We'll put that guy on. All right, we got the sweater. It looks good, but we gotta weather it so it looks a little bit better. You can see on the figure down here, there's all rips and tears in it. So I got some sandpaper, X-Acto blade and some scissors, and we're actually gonna use some shoe polish right here to kind of give it a weathered look. Maybe get some cuts out of the bottom right here. He's got a distinct one right here. Especially around the, the cuff area, it's kind of chattered up. And so here's the sweater after I did some uh, weathering to it. I added some black shoe polish around it and cut up the bottom right there. And also did some some cuts on the sleeves and everything. So it just looks a little more worn in and uh, you know, used I guess. So it doesn't look as new. Now the orange uh, definitely feels different than this material here. Um, it does say you can wash it. They do suggest to wash it um, inside out. So maybe if I did that, it might soften it up a bit, but I'm not too worried about the feel of it as long as it just doesn't you know, flake off a whole bunch. But it seems to go good. I had to use two cans of that stuff, one for each side. Then moving down to the next piece would be Freddy's glove. And I just picked this up, it was Halloween time when I got it, so they had one of those surplus stores. We got this Freddy Krueger glove right here. It was $14.99. Super cheap quality. I wish it was a little bit cheaper for how cheap the, uh, the quality is. This is all thin plastic right here and the glove part itself is like a like a satin a very uh, stretchy eerie fabric which which could work but like I said on this cosplay for whatever reason the glove is more skin toned so I ended up going to Harbor Freight and picking up like a leather glove and they had these uh, tan looking gloves so I, I probably don't even have to paint this here these are uh, medium size so I only need the right hand You know, maybe I'll maybe I'll get rid of the the red here. Although um, the sleeve will probably cover that. And this is just attached with it looks like glue. They just glued this piece on, so we're just gonna have to tear this off. We might be able to put some real rivets in here. So let's see. Can I am I able to slip my fingers into here? Definitely a lot better than this glove. <laughs> right here. I mean, it's brown, whatever, and it's eerie, but the regular look is, you know, more of a leather glove right there. So we just need to attach that on there. So I have this heirloom white, it's a paint primer mix together and it bonds the plastic. So we're just going to hit it with this. We're probably going to go over it with acrylics because this I don't think is skin colored enough, but give us a good base coat. Just keep it nice and light with first coat right there. Give this about five to 10 minutes to dry and we'll go back with a thicker coat. too bad for the color. I mean, it's more of an off white, so we kind of want to match it more towards the glove. So I'm going to use some acrylic paints. God 
helps uh, with the drying times. This way you can get more coats on. Okay, so we got the uh, Freddy mask right here, so we kind of want to get it close to that. So it looks like a little more browns, a little more darker. Very light burgundy, just some dabs. All right, while the uh, claws are drying, I'm gonna paint the, the glove a little bit more so I can get rid of that red band, the yellow and all that on there. Most of it you won't see under here, but we'll just get it a consistent color that's more more skin tone. It's good base to start with, but let's make it a little bit better. So now that I got the glove painted, the sweater all done, moving down the outfit, we need a pair of pants. I lucked out, just went again to Amazon and searched for orange pants. And I happened to come across these nice bright orange pants and these work great for the Freddy costume. It matches his pants almost spot on. It's like a bright orange reddish tone. Didn't have to do anything to them, they were ready to go. So then moving on to the last step is uh, shoes. Needed to pick up some shoes. So I ended up going to Savers and browsing for some used shoes. This way we saved some money and I came across these here. They were 12 bucks. Comfy. That's kind of what I was going for. You're walking around a convention all day rather than getting some heavy boots. I thought these worked well. I needed something brown and comfortable and this fits pretty good. I mean looking at the shoe that he has it's probably some type of boot but I think that's pretty good, pretty close, and it ties the outfit all together. That completes the outfit, so let's put it on and see what it looks like as a whole. So guys, that was it. That was my NES Freddy based off of the NECA figure, based off of the Nintendo game. Pretty cool cosplay, I will say. I was happy I was able to premiere it at a few conventions this past season and people were certainly digging it. I did bring along my Jason NES as well and see if anyone close to my size wanted to pop it on so we could walk around the convention. This way you get the best of both. You got both villains on the NES palette color scheme there. I will be going to Retro World Expo in the coming weeks and I know a few guys from Cinemassacre are gonna be there. So I'm hoping maybe I'll walk in on their panel as NES Freddy. I thought that'd be pretty funny. When I put together my NES Jason, I've seen a couple photos online and that certainly now inspired people to make their own NES Jason, which is awesome. So hopefully people see this video, maybe they'll wanna try NES Freddy. It's fairly an easy cosplay. There wasn't much going on because I purchased most of the stuff on Amazon. Basically dyeing the sweater and painting the glove and you're good to go on this cosplay. If you guys haven't seen my Jason video, I'll leave a link in the description and I did a short movie as well with the NES Jason. Certainly a fun cosplay. 
I got plenty more cosplays coming up, so be sure to subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out. And as always, I'm Russ Lyman, and keep your world fun bit by bit. I'll see you next video. And I want to give a super shout out to all my Patreon supporters, Dan Buchanan, George Sandoval, Joseph Riviera, Nintendo, Kelly Moore, David Apuzo, Maynard, Joe Sheevy, X, Matthew Hannigan, Alex Kaz, Ian Oshie, Ganaman, Rock Solid Productions, Turbo Jesse, and everyone on my Patreon. Link below if you want to join, and I'll see you later. Brrr.